all Mario and Luigi games have enemies. That that's a really dumb thing. That all games have and whatever. All Mario and Luigi games have enemies. Since it is a Mario RPG, you probably want to kill the enemies to level up. But some of the enemies that you have to kill are pretty annoying to say the least. They may have really annoying attacks, or they just may have a ton of health or defense. But in this list, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 most annoying enemies, or just the worst enemies from Mario & Luigi Dream Team. And expect a lot of talk about expert challenges from this game. Because a lot of the reasons why I don't like these enemies are because of how difficult they get with expert challenges. But other than that, let's get started. The Flaming and Tasmons is actually the first enemies that you actually see when you enter Neo Bowser Castle. And it shows you that this place is going to be pretty tough, because these enemies are very tough to dodge. These enemies use flames to attack, but there's also Fire Bros here. What makes Flaming and Tasmons harder than Fire Bros? Well, let me tell you, they can make their attacks slower or faster by just a switch which is very annoying and it's very hard to dodge. I literally had to learn how to dodge these guys. I had to go out of my way to learn it. And that's why he gets to be on number five. If you have to literally learn how to dodge something, that says something right there. That's really hard and that takes some dedication. But dodge 10 is something that was really hard to accomplish in this place. It wasn't the hardest place to accomplish, that's Somnom Woods. And we'll definitely talk about those enemies a bit later, but the Flaming and Tasmons are still definitely a difficult enemy because I literally had to learn how to defeat them. That shows you that these enemies are hard. Eye pillows are really hard to deal with. There's a lot of things that make them hard, but the first thing is that they have really high defense, which means that it's actually pretty difficult to take them out. But the other thing is that obviously their attacks are just a nightmare. Probably the hardest attack is that when he comes down and starts spinning around, and you have to probably hit him with your hammer, trying not to hit yourself with the laser that shoots out. And guess what? It's really hard not to because he spins really fast. And most of the time when I play this game, I don't wait for him to slow down because I wait too long and then he just shoots me. Which is not cool, I don't like that. And most of the time, I either hit myself, or I hit the other bro. Which is really infuriating because I think to myself, okay, I finally dodged it, but no, it just hits the other bro, which instantly just stops Dodge 10. This is one of the enemies that I really hated when I was trying to get Dodge 10, but this isn't the only enemy I hated. I hate Piliodactyls, both the R version and the normal version, but it's not because of the normal reasons that I already mentioned for other enemies. Yes, obviously they have hard attacks to dodge, they have more health than normal, but my biggest problem with Piliodactyls is that they only have a chance of coming actually into the battlefield. You have to use a taunt ball to actually bring them in, and if you don't, they fly away. And the problem with this for me is that no hitter, no hitter exists, which means that if you mess up once with your dodge, well, you're screwed. You have to just wait for another Piliodactyl to actually come into the battlefield for another battle. And if they don't, then you're probably never going to get no hitter for these enemies, which are so annoying because it's just a chance of them showing up. It's luck, which is so stupid. So because of that, they have to land pretty high on this list. Hoses are one of the most annoying enemies to ever dodge in Mario and Luigi Dream Team. And it's not because they're just hard to dodge in general. What they do is that they shoot bees at you. And you have to jump over the bees. You can't jump on them. Because if you jump on them, then they attack you. And because of this, you mess up dodge 10. This enemy right here is why dodge 10 is so hard to pull off in Somnom Woods because you could almost pull it off perfectly, but you kill one bee on accident. You screw it up. That one time, that one bee's death is your death inside because it is the most annoying thing when Dodge 10 gets reset. It's just, it's so annoying. Just ugh. take my advice, kill them with fire. Just get no hitter, kill them with fire flowers because they don't deserve to live. Do not use dodge 10 on them, just kill them immediately, because it's going to be so frustrating if you don't. I 
despise gold beanies so much for so many reasons. One, they have so much defense, you do so little damage with stuff like Luigianary Hammer and Luigianary Wall, which is really pathetic to think about. The other thing is that his attacks are actually pretty hard to dodge. Not as hard as B Haas's or the other people on this list, but they're still hard nonetheless. And the last thing that made my partners in time number one was that this enemy flees from you. And it's so infuriating because this enemy has so much EXP and coins, which makes it so just annoying when they flee from you. And because of this, it makes it my least favorite enemy to fight and it just gets me annoyed every single time I see one. Oh yeah, there's only a chance of this guy showing up. So we already got Pillodactyl's main problem even in this enemy. Every single one of the problems for two through five is in this enemy. And that's a huge problem and that's why you hate this enemy so much. He really should have been a tiny bit easier. Thank you guys for watching this video. My next video will either be about Paper Jam, the new 200 subscriber, I guess, game, or it will be another video on Dream Team if we don't hit 200 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.